And the winner of the ANU final is Elise Hampton. Three minutes is actually maybe a thousand words. Very cool, as well as very useful, because now we can all speak to our parents. So I learned many techniques in public speaking and how to do it right, so you're not that boring lecturer that everyone falls asleep in. What you're also going to get from it is a better idea of where you're going with your project. It'll help you academically as well as socially. When your friends come up, you'll be able to actually tell them what you're doing. I guess the first thing that attracted me was the prize money. However, as soon as I had that thought, I did realise that I never actually win anything. So I really should have a more um, practical reason for going in this competition. And that was to really think about my research, condense it down into three minutes, and try and present it in a way that is both appealing and informative. I participated in the three-minute thesis competition and I must say it was really a lot of fun. Um, the challenge of explaining what you're doing fairly simply, directly. But imagine for a second that the people around you thought it did make you somehow less Australian and less trustworthy because of it. I did the three minute thesis because I was terrified of it. I never thought I was a very good public speaker. It was one of the things I was most afraid of in life. I didn't like getting up in front of people. I was thought that they would look at me and I'd feel like I was an idiot up there speaking and I really felt like I was an idiot up there whenever I had to give talks in front of people. So I did it because I knew I needed practice. If I was ever going to go to an international conference and have to give papers or even teach in front of undergraduates, that I needed to be able to have at least some self-confidence and some ability to stand up in front of people and speak. You never know exactly what will happen tomorrow. How high will the press inflation be? How many years ahead are we going to live? Um, I participate in several workshops organized by NU Department of Research Skills and Training. And they are very helpful for me to prepare for the three minutes of competition. Any one of you, anywhere, at any time, could have a seizure and die. Just like that. So the experience gave me an opportunity to um, show a lot of people the real importance of studying diseases such as epilepsy. Um, throughout the experience, I had different people come up to me and share their really interesting and humbling experiences of epilepsy that they'd had in their personal lives or the lives of close friends and relatives. And I found it quite useful, especially as I'm getting to the end of my PhD. And I, was, I felt like I was getting a bit of a tunnel vision and having trouble explaining what I was doing for my thesis in simple terms. Going through the 3MT training uh, that was provided by Inga and actually doing the three minute thesis presentation really helped me out to really um, hone down what it is that I was doing for my thesis. Before I knew it, I had about six minutes. So it was a six minute thesis presentation and I really felt like I hadn't got to the point. So it was a huge uh, battle in being able to um, make my research punchy and uh, to the point. Um, I think now I can explain what I'm often, I can explain what I'm doing fairly simply to ordinary people. I found it a lot easier for me to present in conferences and in other academic environments. It also helped me to refine what I what my thesis was about. And it really helped me fine tune the aims of my research and what I thought was most important. And on top of that, it then actually made me able to better communicate my research to people that didn't really have that much of an understanding of epilepsy or neuroscience in general. Opportunity to meet other people, meet PhD students from other schools here at the INU, learn about what it is that what, what they do, learn about the other research that's taking place at the INU, and also, of course, uh, the opportunity to meet other researchers and people like Inga, who have been fantastic. And it's opened up plenty of doors for me. I've done radio interviews, I've been asked to speak at the museum. So for me to just sit down in a room with bunch of my peers and, and hear what they're up to, that was also a really, um, it, was, 
a good use of an hour and a half of my time. Just brought me up to speed with um, what's going on around the place. I didn't win. No, I think that's for uh, um, young enthusiastic people with really good smiles who are going to cure cancer or uh, solve world poverty. But I th thought I got a lot out of it and uh, I'd really recommend it to anyone. Yeah. Did all right in the cap and I, I made it all the way up to the university level and each time people told me I was doing a really good job and so it really just gave me a lot of self-confidence and you know, I still don't think I'm the best public speaker but I at least believe my own ability to do it now and I have to. Lastly, you know, presentation skills is very important both for academic researchers and employees in the industry. And it won't end there. They will continue to circle each other, leaving behind trails of gas and stars until they finally come together to form a single red elliptical galaxy two billion years after their first encounter. To winning the ANU three minute competition was pretty surprising. Uh, the, um, the prize money was pretty good. And you get people coming up to you afterwards saying, oh, your research is so cool, tell us more. So I've been to two conferences since doing the three minute thesis competition. And through the three minute thesis competition, I was interviewed by both national and local radio stations. And people at the conference actually came up to me and said, oh, I'd heard about your research on the radio and thought that it was really interesting. And that encouraged them to come along to my presentations. So that was pretty exciting and uh, an avenue that I didn't expect from just a, a humble little three-minute speech.